Sure. So what my study looked at is it looked at interviewing patients with Gaucher disease and Fabry disease to see how they use social media support groups considering their condition. So the poster I'm presenting today is on those results. So I interviewed 21 individuals and what we found was three unique types of users in support groups kind of emerged from the data. So we found that they fit in these three groups. They fit in givers, meaning they provide support, they provide information on the disease. Then they fell into receivers, which those people sought the information and sought the support. And then a different type of group in that they were voyeurs. So they didn't actively participate in the groups, but they read the information, they observed the support. So sort of like sometimes you sit in a cafe and you people watch. They did that, but on these support groups. And what was interesting was to see that even though there were these three different types of groups, each of them still received feelings of normalization just from being able to participate in any way in these support groups. Um, givers felt normalization from being able to connect with people. Receivers felt normalization from being able to get answers. And voyeurs just felt normalization just from being able to watch all of it. So it was really, really amazing study. I really loved it.